to truly understand what this means and all the different types of values that it can hold, we need to understand what are the different ways in which we can call functions in JavaScript. Turns out there are four different ways in which we can call a function in JavaScript. We've looked at two ways. One is what I call the regular mode of calling a function, and the second one is calling using constructors. There's a total of actually four different ways in which we can call functions in JavaScript. So let's try and understand that first. And once we've got that, that's going to be a good uh, foundation for understanding the, this keyword. So let's look at what, the, what are the different ways in which we can call a function in JavaScript. So let's start with a function foo. And uh, this is just going to print console.log. Uh, let's say hello, right? Very simple function. Now this is a function declaration. All right, so what I'm talking about can apply to function declaration as well as for function expression. I just have to choose one and I'm choosing a function declaration. It doesn't matter if this were to be a var foo equals a function. What I'm going to talk about is exactly the same. All right, now I have a function here and now I can call this function by using foo, which we've already seen, we should be familiar with now. This is calling this function. So what the interpreter does is when it actually compiles this code, it looks at this function declaration and creates a function object, and then foo is basically executing that function object. All right, if it's a function expression, then the function object would be created during the interpretation stage, but still, you do have a function object here, and we have this function being called. If the differences between the compilation and the interpretation step that I just mentioned isn't clear, I highly encourage you to check out the scopes and closures in-depth course uh, that's available on Java Brains. I go through this in a lot of detail. All right, so now we have a function and you're calling it. This is the first way of calling functions in JavaScript. This is method one of calling functions in JavaScript. Let's do another way of calling functions. Uh, let's say I have an object. So you have a var obj equals, and in the object and in that object, I have a function property. Let's call the function property foo itself, and then I'm going to have this function. This is a function expression, and I'm going to print the exact same thing here. It really doesn't matter, it's just some function. Now, I can call this function by using obj.foo. So I'm calling a function not directly, but using an object handler, right? So this function is a property of an object. So you're basically executing this in the context of this object, all right? So this is the second way in which you can execute functions in JavaScript. Now you might be thinking, hey, this aren't these two methods more or less the same? You're basically referring to an object, a function object, and then executing it. Here you're referring to the function object as a property of another object, but eventually it is just executing a function object, isn't it? Well, for the purposes of what we're gonna talk about uh, with the, this reference, these are different. The method one, which is executing a function as is, versus method two, which is executing a function as a property of an object are two different ways for the purposes of the conversation we're gonna have next. So yes, these are two different methods. The third way in which you can execute the function is using it as a constructor, and we've just seen this. Anytime you use a new keyword in front of any function execution, it calls that function in the constructor mode. So we saw what happens when you execute any function in a constructor mode, right? So there is a var this equals empty object that kind of implicitly gets created in the very first line and a return this gets uh, added to the very last line implicitly. So this is the third way in which we can execute functions in JavaScript. Now there is a fourth way I told you there are four different ways in which we can execute functions in JavaScript, but I'm not going to talk about this fourth way just yet. In order to truly understand how this fourth way is, you really need to know the concept of the execution context and this reference. So I'm going to hold off talking about the fourth way of executing functions until we cover the this reference. So we're going to talk about this much later in this unit, but remember that there is this mysterious fourth way that we're going to get to later. But for now, 
Remember that there are four different ways in which you can execute functions in JavaScript. The first way is by calling the function as is. Of course, you can take parameters in any of these things. The parameters don't matter. I'm just referring to the way in which we can call these functions. So this is method one. Method two is referring to a function as a property of an object and executing it. So it's an object reference dot property, which happens to be a function and then executing that. Method three is executing a function as a constructor by attaching a new keyword to that execution. And then finally, the fourth mysterious method that we haven't covered yet. But I want you to keep at the back of your mind that there is this other way as well. All right, so in the next tutorial, we're gonna look at a concept called the execution context in JavaScript.